As I have mentioned before, Redux Toolkit is simpler, cleaner, easier, and the best part has a great documentation. In this lesson, we're gonna create our store and reducer and actions and update the state in just one lesson, just using Redux Toolkit documentations. It's very simple. Just type Redux Toolkit and open that link. Let's get started with those great documentations. Just scroll down to install it. I'm gonna use yarn. So let's copy that line and go to our editor. Let's paste it here. Let's install that package too, React Redux. And now let's press add quick start here. Let's scroll down, scroll down. First, that's our store. Let's copy that code and go in our code. Let's run our project first, yarn start. And let's press I to, to run the iOS. Now here in our code, let's create a folder inside our SRC, let's create a store folder. Inside this store folder, let's create a store file, store.ts. And let's just paste the code that we've copied. Okay, and let's press save. Now we have done with the store. It's very easy, don't worry about that code. I will explain every line of code, so don't worry about it. You can use JavaScript here if you want to use the store with JavaScript. Look, it's very, very, very simple. But since we're using TypeScript, so let's use it TypeScript. Let's scroll down. After we have created our store, we need to connect our store with our React code using React Redux. So let's copy those two lines of code, the provider and the store, and go to app.tsx. Let's paste them here. Just make that src, src store slash store. That path, you can copy that path using copy relative path. Look. Now let's add our provider or let's copy it from documentations. We have a great documentations. Let's press save. We got a warning because we didn't make our reducer yet, okay? But our app is still working, so no need to worry. Let's go to next step, and it's the slides. Just copy that code if you are using TypeScript. If you are using JavaScript, press here and copy the code. But since we're using TypeScript, so let's press on TypeScript and press copy. And let's, in our store, let's create a new folder called counter reducer or counter slice whatever you want and just paste that code here okay don't worry i will explain every line of code so don't worry if you don't understand anything anything don't worry at all let's scroll down that's our last step and we just need to import our reducer to use it in our store, okay? We'll just copy that line of code or we can make it manually if you want. Just in store, inside this reducer object, just paste it here or type it manually. And counter reducer, we can import it from here. Import counter reducer from counter reducer. And let's press save. Guess what we have done? We have created three actions and we have created our store and our reducer too. And I will gonna show you. If you go to home screen here, it's very simple. Let's just add our use selector const and let's destruct our object equals to use selector. We just need to import that use selector from React Redux. Import use selector from React Redux, okay? So now our state equals to root state. We just import that from our store. We have created here our root state equals to state dot counter. We have inside our counter 
we have here the global state called value and it's a number and it's zero. So let's check what we got here. Yes, we got the value here. And when we just put it inside the text, for example, let's here, let's use a text here. Don't forget to, uh, to import it. When we put our count and press save, look, we have here a zero. Let's make it bigger. Look, a zero here. If we go to our store or to our reducer and make it like 10, it will be 10. It will be 10 in all screens because that's a global state. For example, if you copy that use selector and use it inside another screen like sitting screen or profile screen, let's for example, copy that code and go to profile screen. That's our profile screen. Just don't forget to import your selector from React. From React Redux. And import this, this root state. And just add a text here with the value. Look, we have here 10. Inside profile screen, we have 10. Inside home screen, we have 10. Let's, let's please make it bigger. Great, isn't that? And we can change it using those actions. We have here an increment action, a decrement action, increment by amount. We can use it using our dispatch hook. So if you go, for example, in home screen and add a button with title equals to minus, and let's just import our dispatch, const dispatch, equals to use this patch. We, we use, use this patch from React Redux, equals to use this patch. If we just, in this decrement, on press, if we add this function, this patch decrement, we import decrement from our store counter reducer, from that file, because we export it here. If we press save, we got here we got here a minus button, let's make it decrement. If we press here, uh, we forgot to add those uh, parentheses. So let's press save and try again. If we press decrement, log 764. And it's global state, so if you press on profile, it will be four. We have another action in our counter reducer called increment, okay? Let's use it. So if we just copy that button, just copy that button here and use that action called increment and paste it here. Don't forget just to import it. And let's rename that button to increment. If we press increment, look, we can increase our number. And here we can decrease our number. Here in our profile two, it's 14. We can use that action too, increment by amount. Let's use it real quick. Let's copy that code and paste it here. Let's add increment by amount. And let's, for example, add four. And let's increment by four. If we press here, lock 18, lock 22. Look, 26. Great, even that. And you can put your global state here in that file, and that reducers, like before. For example, let's add a value called test name, and that's equal to test name. If we just go to home screen and add this, we got here, oh, we didn't add TypeScript yet, so, it doesn't, it doesn't appear here, so let's copy it, but it will work. Don't worry about that complaint, I will fix it right now. Let's take a copy of that text, and let's paste our test name. Lock, test name. Just, just let's fake this TypeScript issue, please. Let's go to store, or Count reducer, we have here complement because in our interface, we didn't add the type of that test name. So let's add this mark 
and that this name and its string. Okay. Now, if you go to home screen, now if we go to home screen and delete that, yes, we got here right now in our options. Just paste here and press save. And any value we you put here in global state, it will appear in all the app. For example, in settings, use your name is Batman. No, it's not Batman, it's test name. So we can go to setting screen and const calls to use selector. Let's import it from React Redux. State equals to road state. State dot counter and here test name. We can replace it with that username. So now it's test name. Now if you look here and here, if we change the our name and our global state, it will get changed in all the screens. For example, let's change that string to make it Redux to cat is amazing and simple. And let's press save. In home screen, we have Redux Toolkit is amazing and simple. And in setting screen, we have the same too. Redux Toolkit is, is amazing and simple. Now, don't forget to subscribe to watch the next lesson because in the next lesson, we're gonna explain every line of code that I have right here. And thanks for Redux Toolkit, this amazing library. And follow me to learn more and more. Thanks for watching.